Thank you very much. My greetings to Madam Chair and to all party members here from various parties. First of all, I want to applaud both the NDC and the M and Madam Jean Mensa, the Commission, for doing a great job and listening to each other. The NDC had brought a lot of issues for all of us to listen to. We have carefully listened to it from various platforms, and today we are on the main platform where things were addressed for all of us to hear. But for me, it's going to be very difficult for Ghana to have a perfect system without a national data system. We've been running around talking about data collection, data system, national health insurance, DVLA, Ghana card, EC. In other jurisdictions, I'm sure some of those from the foreign countries are here, they have a data system, a database, one data system that has every information of everybody from the child born today until the last old man standing. We don't have such data. And we must admit that we are doing our best to give each other a perfect data. And that has challenges. We cannot say that we will not have challenges in anything we do. That is, that is not entirely true. So in as much as we want a perfect data, we should be thinking about the APC national data system that we have been proposing all this while. That system captures every information of everyone. And when you turn 18, you don't need the EC to tell you, come and register. A letter will be sent to you to go to the EC's office to register your name automatically. When you turn 18, whether you are a Ghanaian or, or a foreigner who comes from Ghana or another country, you cannot register if you are a foreigner. But what do we do here? That is here. Bring in foreigners to come and register. That is here. Bring in minors to come and register. And you expect a hundred perfection of a voter register. How is that going to be possible? We are the cause of where we are today. And we must all admit, we cannot be feeding the voter register and expect it to be credible the way we want it. So if the EC is giving us something and the MDC is asking a forensic audit into the voter register, there is no problem asking for a forensic audit. But the problem here is that we are only holding a provisional voter register. And that allows for correction and allows for updates and that allow us to make suggestions like we are doing now until we get to the final register. It is when we have the final register, then we have problems with it. Of course, we will all agree that yes, we will not go to the election until these problems are resolved. Whether it's coming from the NDC, it's coming from the NPP, it's coming from the APC or any other party. Because we are all part of this game called elections. And we must admit that listening to them today, I mean, I'm convinced that they are doing their best. And I'm also convinced that the NDC is convinced that listening to them today, there have been new changes and new development from where it was until today. So I need all of us to know this, that I also want to appeal to the EC. In terms of Pusiga, the casual workers we take to help us in every process in electoral committee activity is also another problem. Don't forget, most of these casual workers are either NDC, MPP, APC, or in other things. So when we find a problem like this in Pusiga, like Madam Chair, it's a human society. If I'm an APC member, and I think that a member come and I want to favor, I will favor him. Whether I'm 
is he member or not? I will do it. But the point here is that look at the problem now. We have transfer of vote three hundred and thirty-two thousand. What is that for? What it means is that some political party were making transfer from where they have strongholds and where they think they have weak or less stronghold and they can win transfer huge numbers. Huge numbers from that place to favor themselves. Are we listening very well? So this issue that we are facing today is not just an issue of the easy. It's all of us. We have contributed to this. That's the fact of the matter. We have all contributed to where we are. We want a credible voter register, but we feed it with wrong information. We feed the, 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 the issue with wrong information, yet we want a credible voter register. How on earth will that happen? How? The computers are no human beings, they are systems. What you feed it is what it's going to give back to you. It will not give you a different thing. We want to win elections as political leader and look at our attitude. We want to be president of the Republic of Ghana, yet we are corrupt. Is this the attitude of the people who want to be president of this country? Is this our attitude? Can we be trusted ourselves? I'm ashamed of all of us here. Please, your, your time. Let, me, let me finish. Time. Yes, everybody has time. The NDC spoke well. Let me also, I'm also a big party. Then the issue of uh, forensic audit into the IT system. Let me be sincere with my brothers from the NDC. If there is no IT system, there is no voter register. Let's be sincere. If the IT system is not working, there is no way you can get a voter register. So, I will plead. Yes, of course, we all want what is right for us. So let's wait. Mr. IT man, you were here. And uh, you listen to what everybody is saying. We all want a credible voter register. Because we want, when we win, when the APC win election, don't be war between NDC and MPP. When the AP, MPP wins election, don't come and say the voter register was not corrupt. They will accept it in this state. If they win this election, they will accept the voter register. Don't come complaining. Am I right? The same way if MPP wins, they will also accept the voter register. So in that much as we want a credible voter register, Madam, well done for giving us a perfect uh, understanding of what, what you presented today. We are grateful. I am not here to defend any party or support any party. I am here to talk for APC and the Ghanaian people. We are their voice. And we must begin to look at each other and tell us the truth. We are not here for propaganda. We are here to build a nation. We are here to build institutions, strong institutions. And we must all be part of it. I thank you and I rest my case. Thank you very much.